Hey, what's up? Last year a good action movie came out and I think it didn't get the attention it deserved. To be honest, it's like very similar to John Wick. Man, they, they even have the same writer. But I gotta say, it's a bit different. It has like this funny badass vibe that I really like, so sit tight and enjoy. By the way, remember you can support the channel on Patreon, you have the link below. Now, time for the movie. The movie starts with a man badly bruised and a cat at the police station, so yeah, we'll have to go back a few days before to explain that. Okay, that's better. This is Hutch, and his life is quite normal, you know, sleep, commute, work, repeat. Oh, and he misses the garbage every single time, that's the most exciting part of his day. One night Hutch wakes up and surprise surprise someone is robbing the house, he tries to stop the couple but prefers not to fight. Everything is okay, I mean, it's a robbery, but you know, no violence. Till his son comes down tackling one of the criminals, Hodge has the chance to hit the other one, but doesn't do it, so the criminals escape. The police arrive and the whole thing turns like sad and funny because the robbers use the pizza box to go inside and everyone thinks Hodge is a coward. But seriously, the couple was taking a few bucks and a watch. Wasn't it better to give them what they wanted without exposing your family to gunfire? Anyway, next morning his son Blake is angry, but he says he has to do a report on a veteran and he wants to interview Hutch. But Hutch says he was just an auditor and tells Blake it's better if he interviews his uncle or his grandpa who was actually in the war. Hutch is at breaking point, and even more when he sees the new car of his neighbor. Then at work, Uncle Charlie, brother of his wife, gives him a gun for protection. And then his father-in-law, who's like the boss there, is also like, I think it was the best you could do, you being you. Come on! Hutch gets to his office, turns on the radio and starts talking to a man, showing he actually knows more about guns than what we thought. Even saying the model the robbers were using and explaining it was empty, he just didn't want to hit those guys. Before going back home, he pays his father a visit. And look who that is! Dr. Emmett! Then at home, her daughter says she can find the kitty cat bracelet, which was in the bowl with the cash. So enough is enough. Hutch leaves the house, takes his dad's gun, an FBI ID, and visits a few tattoo studios asking if they've seen the tattoo on one of the robbers till he finds the place where it was done. This scene is actually quite funny, cause an old man knows a lot about the FBI and the army and says something like, that ID is expired, accusing Hodge of impersonating an agent, and two big guys get behind him like, you better leave man. Hodge offers them money allowing the old man to see a tattoo on Hodge's wrist, and he immediately leaves, closing a door and throwing like six locks. Anyway, they give him the information and Hutch finds the people who robbed him, hitting the man and demanding the kitty cat bracelet, but it's just a poor family with a sick baby, so he goes outside full of anger and hits a wall. He takes the boss back home, but some drunk Russians get on board, which is actually a breath of fresh air for Hutch, since he wants to kick some ass. They start fighting and it's brutal, he gets stabbed, hit and thrown out of the bus. He landed a few hits too, but when he gets back to the vehicle again, whoa, it's like John Wick reborn. Hodge goes back home and there his wife is not a surprise as I would have thought. She treats his wounds and now it's time to meet the Russians. These Russians are a bit different, cause the boss, Julian, likes to dance and sing, that's unexpected. But then they are a bit more Russian, when the other mafia bosses say singing and dancing doesn't inspire confidence, as Julian is keeping everyone's money, so he kills a man to prove them wrong. That's when he learns his brother was attacked by a man on a bus. The doctor says he might not recover and even though Julian hates his brother, family is family and revenge is coming. Next morning Hutch feels a lot better and at work receives a text to meet at the barber. There is like a CIA boss or something and they give him information on the man he attacked. At the same time the Russians decipher his dad address using a metro card Hodge had and left behind. They also get in touch with someone at the Pentagon who gives them information about Hodge and see the man is no joke. 
So that night they send man to his house. Hutch realizes about that and takes his family to the basement, which has like a bulletproof door or something. He fights with the bad guys and the whole scene is like the first John Wick movie, but not so clean. But the fight ends up with the Russians using a stun gun and kidnapping the man. That proves to be a mistake actually, as after putting him in the trunk of the car, he escapes using a fire extinguisher. He calls his dad saying things are getting interesting. And back at home, he takes a shower before opening the basement and sending his family to a safer place. He takes some gold takes the bodies to the basement, finds the kitty cat bracelet, which never left the house, was just under the sofa, and then burns the house so no one finds any evidence. By the way, at two moments we learned that he was basically a kind of John Wick, John Rambo, John McClane, hired by the CIA, the FBI, the DEA, the FBA, and the CSI. Everybody wanted this man. The Russians sent two men to kill Hodge's dad, but he uses a shotgun and kills both, whoa! Hodge then goes to his workplace and offers a lot of gold to buy the business. Hodge then sets a million traps because he's planning to end this once and for all. He then goes to where all the money is, kills everyone, sets the cash on fire and then visits the Russians at the club. He shows them an explosive, just like when the Joker talked to the Mafia in Batman 2, and talks to Julian, saying everything he did, so no, the Russians aren't happy. He escapes and a chase starts that takes them to the place he just bought, but before he can take cover, he's shot in the shoulder and seemingly has no way to go. That's when his brother and his dad show up to help. Look, Dr. Rabbit using guns! Inside the place, the three men split and take down man after man with the help of the traps, even taking three or four enemies at a time. The only one left is Julian, but with no ammunition, Hutch tapes an explosive to a piece of reinforced glass and hits the guy with that. Now everything is fine, his dad and brother leave so they are not questioned by the police and Hodge finds a cat who was hiding there. He's taken to the police station, which brings us to the first scene and before they can ask anything, they get a call and are told to release the man. And that's basically how the movie ends, cause we have another scene of him buying a new house and getting a call to set a sequel and then his brother and dad are driving a camper full of guns, but uh, yeah, that's it. So that's about it, let me know what you think about this movie. My name is David, have a good day, I'll see you soon, bye.